we've all been there out on a nice ride enjoying ourselves and next thing you get a mechanical out of nowhere and you're sat there twiddling your thumbs not knowing how to fix it not all of us are lucky enough to have a team car with a mechanic ready to jump out and fix the problem and a lot of us won't carry a toolbox with all the tools we need to fix it Today I'm going to show you what sort of roadside mechanicals you can fix with a multi-tool like this one. It has most things to get me out of trouble if I have a mechanical out on the bike. This one even has tyre levers. It's always a good idea to take a spare inner tube and a pump in a saddlebag so you don't have to carry it in your jersey. But that being said, it is easier said than done because the amount of times I've started my ride, ridden 20 minutes down the road and forgotten my saddlebag and my inner tube and pump, I've lost count. So make sure you take those with you too. If you have white handlebar tape, you might want to consider packing some gloves. This will save you getting oil and dirt all over your hands from your dirty chain and then having to put your hands back on the bars and making your nice white handlebar tape grubby. There is nothing worse than grubby white handlebar tape. That's why I uh, stick to black handlebar tape. Right, I'm going to head out on my ride and see just how many mechanicals I can get. So, just had my first mechanical of the day and it is a dropped chain. So I did try and change gear and I was in the big ring and I was right in the biggest of the cassette at the back and yeah, my bad, my chain did drop. So even though I am on a quiet country lane, it is important that you get out of the road in case any traffic comes. So there is a lay bike just up there. So I'm gonna walk my bike up there and then put the chain back on. Okay, little story time. Putting the chain back on was actually one of the first maintenance skills I learned. I'm not sure if you can call it a maintenance skill, but I'm going to call it a maintenance skill. It was back when I was around 13 and it was the day of my first race. And just before we left for the race, my dad said, oh, I better teach you how to put chain back on in case it comes off. And guess what? Halfway through the race, my chain came off and I was able to put it back on. Now is the time to get those gloves out to avoid you getting your hands all dirty. But if you're like me and didn't take any gloves with you on the ride, this is a little trick I like to do. I like to go to the nearest tree or the nearest hedge and find the biggest leaf. And then I use the leaf to put the chain back on to avoid my hands getting dirty. That is definitely a hack. Definitely do not choose one of these. That is a stinging nettle do not want to touch that with your hands. I'm going to choose this one. That is a nice big leaf. So we've got our drop chain. How are we going to put it back on? So you want to start by making sure you have shifted into the little ring if that's where you're going or vice versa. But it is a lot easier to get the chain onto the little ring than it is the big ring. So we've got our dropped chain to put it back on you've either got your gloves or a leaf to avoid your hands getting dirty you want to feel underneath for the chain grab it watching your fingers pull it through place it back on the chain doesn't matter if the leaf gets caught give the pedals a nice turn make sure everything's running smoothly and you're good to go This next mechanical has actually only happened out on the bike with me once before, a snapped spoke. And at the time I thought, oh, that's my ride over with. I'm gonna have to get someone to pick me up or, or walk home. But no, you can actually fix it out on the road so you are able to get yourself home. So I don't actually have a snapped spoke right now and I'm definitely not gonna snap one for the video. So you'll have to use your imagination. So just pretend it snapped. 
it'll be easier if you take the wheel out from this. So you need to find the broken spoke and then you could bend it around the spoke next to it or zip tie it. Or if you had a bit of tape, just tape it. Basically making sure the spoke is out of the way and it's not gonna get caught in anything like the brake or the forks. Once you've got the spoke out the way, pop your wheel back in, give it a turn, make sure nothing is rubbing. Your wheel may have a slight buckle in, and if it does, and if you are lucky enough to have a spoke key on your multi-tool, you might have to adjust a few spokes. Do try and avoid any potholes or bumps in the road on the way home, and just be extra cautious. And please, when you get home, take it to your local bike shop so they can repair it properly and give you a brand new spoke. After time, things will work loose on your bike. So we do recommend giving it a once over, making sure everything is tight at least once a month. But if you do happen to be out on your bike and your friend forgets to point a pothole out and you end up right in it and your bars take a bit of a beating and they slip and end up something like this. Do not leave them like this. Do not try and ride home with them like this because it is not safe and you do not have a very good control. This is a really easy fix if you have a multi-tool. And if you don't, well, I hope your friend has one or just head to a local bike shop and ask if you could quickly borrow their Allen keys. I always find it easier to stand over my bike. So you're gonna want to loosen the bolts a little bit. So once you've loosened it, you then need to get your handlebars into the right position that you want them and make sure they're central. Then you just wanna go around and tighten each bolt up. Don't go crazy and over tighten them, but they need to be snug. And once you've tightened them, you wanna put a little bit of pressure through your handlebars to make sure they're not gonna slip again. And when you get home, I would recommend going through all the bolts with a torque wrench to make sure they're tight enough. There's nothing worse than when you're out on your bike and your brakes start rubbing. No. Oh, actually there is one thing worse. Thinking your brakes are rubbing, you stop and check and they're not rubbing. You've just got really bad legs that day. But seriously, if they are rubbing, we can fix them out on the road. So I'm gonna show you how to do it with disc brakes, but you can do it with rim brakes as well. And that's really easy just by adjusting the calipers. And your multi-tool will come in handy for this. A rubbing brake could be a few things. It could be that you just haven't put the wheel in right. So take the wheel out, put it back in, give it a spin and see if that works. If that hasn't worked, we're gonna have to undo the bolts that attach the calipers to the fork. So once you've undone your bolts a little bit, you wanna pull your front brake and then simply tighten it back up. If that hasn't worked and your brakes are still rubbing, you can repeat the process. But instead of pulling the brakes, you can look down through the caliber pads and locate it so there's a gap either side. If you are out on your bike and you snap your chain and you haven't got any tools with you, there's not much you can do really, but hopefully you're riding with some friends unlike me that are able to push you home or to the nearest bike shop. Um, but if you haven't got any friends, you're gonna have to call someone. Oh, hi Ollie. Um, I've just had a bit of a mechanical, my chain has snapped, I'm out on my bike and uh, obviously I can't fix it. Uh, do you mind picking me up? Oh. Oh, you're busy. Oh, okay. I'll, um, I'll try someone else. No, no, it's fine, don't worry. Bye. <sighs> busy doing what? <sighs> but seriously, we will be back with this in a future video, so keep your eyes peeled. Hopefully you find some of these tips useful for when you're out on the road and they help you get out of a mechanical. If you have any of your own tips or tricks that have helped you out on the road whilst having a mechanical, please leave them in the comment section below.